Mike from runfizz.com. Thank you for watching today's video. And especially thank you to Brian for giving the suggestion for today's topic. If you have other topics that you would like to see covered in these videos, please reach out to me via Twitter, via uh, email, and let me know what other uh, topics would be helpful to you. Today's video is talking about the difference between distance runners and sprinters, and specifically what are the things that will help a, a sprinter um, be more prepared to run and less likely to get injured compared to a distance runner. Now there's a couple of main differences between sprinting and distance running that we'll cover today. And the first one is that simply sprinters are taking a lot longer strides. It doesn't take uh, too much to see that as someone is sprinting and running faster, the amount of flexion and extension of their hips is quite a bit uh, more with sprinting compared to distance running. So because of that, we need to stretch our hips in more specific ways and more thorough ways to make sure that our muscles and our joints are ready for that increased range of motion need. So the first exercise that uh, I'll suggest for today is a stretch that will really target your hamstrings as well as the, the groin and inner thigh muscles. Two of the areas that are very, very commonly injured with sprinters as far as a muscle pull whereas you don't see those injuries very often with distance runners. And a big part of that, again, is just simply the amount of range of motion that you use to sprint. So to do this exercise, what you'll do is get down on one knee, and the knee that you're kneeling on, you're going to rotate that hip so your shin is perpendicular to the foot in front of you. And then what you'll do is you will alternately reach towards your front toes, and then up and back driving your hips forward and you're going to just slowly and methodically go through that motion. As you reach forward you should feel a nice stretch in the upper hamstring of the foot that's out in front and as you reach up and back you should feel a good stretch again in the inner thighs on both legs really but more on the rear leg. So you want to do that at least 30 times kind of easing into the stretch but getting deeper and deeper. In that way that'll help get your muscles ready for that increased range of motion that you need. Now another critical difference that's not very well understood is that when you're sprinting versus distance running, as you're sprinting and your legs are going forward and backward, there comes a moment where your muscles are kind of changing directions. So if my hip is swinging forward, at the moment that it starts swinging backward, in a sprinter, that moment your foot is out in space, it's up in the air. Whereas with distance running, when that moment happens, your foot is on the ground. Now when your foot is on the ground, that's going to inherently uh, encourage all your muscles to work together and to stabilize your joints. Whereas when your foot is up in the air, and out in space making that transition, your muscles aren't always on the same page. And so when your foot is out in, the, out in space, then that can leave you more susceptible to injury. So we need to know that you can be stable and have all your muscles working together even while your foot is out in space. So again, what we need to do is build that stability with your foot way out in front of you. And there's two exercises that I want to suggest to help you accomplish that. The first one is a simple step up exercise. You can do it on stairs, on a curb, anything that you trust to put your foot up onto. But the difference is, is you're going to start further back. And so you're going to step up, but again, you're going to start further back. And what this does is it helps uh, strengthen the hamstrings more and it helps make sure that your strength is there at that end range at the point where your foot is starting to make that transition from flexion to extension. You're going to do that 15 times each leg. The next exercise you're going to do is a simple lunge except for of course we can't just leave it simple. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a rag under your foot if you're on a hard surface and instead of stepping up and lunging forward, what you're going to do is simply drive forward and then come back. Drive forward and come back. And if you're on a hard surface, you use a rag. If you're on carpet, you use a furniture slider. If you're somewhere else, then you may have to get a little creative. But what this does is it accomplishes the same strengthening motion, but by having your foot on something that is mobile and uh, slippery, that forces your muscles to work that much harder to maintain stability throughout that entire range. 
So you're lunging forward and backward just like a simple lunge, but by having your foot on something, that really forces your muscles to stay more engaged, which will help you be better prepared to sprint without your muscles uh, being left out to dry, in which case they can get injured. So hopefully you find those helpful. Those are good exercises for any runner to do, but especially for sprinters. Those are the kinds of things that will help dial in your muscles to make sure that you are less likely to get injured. It'll help you run faster and hopefully more efficient as well. So give those a try. Let me know how they go. Let me know how you respond to them and if they uh, help you stay more injury free this season. Have fun with those. Run fast, friends.